Check it out, folks. Do I got a good one for you today? Yes, I do. Listen, you want to talk about easy and simple? You want to feed a family of, you know, five or six? Then check this out. Today, I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to make. Listen to this. We finna do some chicken and rice. And to be more specific, listen, we finna do chicken and yellow rice. Let's get it. Okay, so look, first thing we finna do is we finna, you know, preheat our oven, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit bake. We gonna go with three. I'm gonna do a different number, 65. Some of y'all gonna say that don't mean nothing, but look, that's what we gonna use today. I hit the start, we preheat it. Now, okay, so look, this pan right here is what we gonna be using to make our rice and we gonna brown our chicken, right? And then look, it's gonna render some fine. We, that's where we gonna get our flavor. Over here, you see we got some ingredients. Don't forget the full ingredient list is on my website. That's smoking and grilling with AB.com and that's W I T A B. Com. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself set up with about a medium flame, right? Over here, I'm getting ready to use my branch of vine. This is my infused olive oil. I wanna put a little bit of this down like this, right? I'm gonna start off by taking my chicken and start to place it, you know, skin side down, right? So we'll put it here, just like that. All right, you see this right here? This is my A seasoning. Lot of, oh, first of all, I'm gonna say this for everybody that have it right now. I'm gonna say thank you guys for making this such a big, huge success over the holidays. You know what I mean? Just overall. Now look, notice this says A. You see that right there? The A seasoning. I have a B also. I'll state it right here. Right. So you see that's A B. If you buy both of these, that'll be having like your own A B in your kitchen. But I just want to let you know this right here is good on that fish. You know that poultry, your lighter meats. Right. This is it. Now. This is a low sodium product. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on here like that. All right. And notice I'm not picking up the chicken and doing nothing else with it. You know what I mean? Because we want to get the brownness. It'll release when it's ready. I don't want to go ahead and just, you know, keep lifting it up and looking at it, right? Now, I just told you guys that's a low sodium product, right? So it will take just a little bit, just a little bit of salt on it. You know what I mean? Nothing more than just like a light pinch just to enhance the flavors. Okay, so look, I wanted to show you guys something, right? And okay, so look, I'm doing the cleanup here and you guys wanna do the cleanup at your place, right? So I do have a lid that will go on top of here, but I don't want it to steam or nothing like that, right? So I want it to breathe, so I got a splatter guard. I put this on the top, that keeps all of my oil inside of this right here, it kinda like traps it, and you can see it's like a mesh design, it still allows it to breathe. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at it. Don't forget, folks, we are not trying to cook this. We just want to put a little browning on it. You see that right there? That's what we want to get, right? Let me look under this one here. See, is it ready? Ah, oh, yeah. I know they're kind of ready to flip. Remember, I don't know if I said it in this video, but I said it in the past. When your food is ready to cook, like steaks and fish and all that, you ain't got to pick it up. When you hit it like that and it's already released, you know it's about ready to do its thing. Look at that right there, folks. So, I'm gonna do it like this because I want to see what the bottom looks like. But I, you see how easy that is it goes under? Matter of fact, I'll do it this way. That one say he ain't quite ready. Uh, it released now. And this one right here, not quite ready. You know what I mean? But we'll look at the bottom of this one right here. Oh yeah, this is it. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna take this, this one out. We're not trying to cook this, folks. We just want to get the color on there and the brown. You see this right here? You guys can do it the way you want to do it. If you want it to be a clean looking yellow rice, you can like pour some of this out. This is the chicken grease. I want to make good tasting food, right? So I got some butter here and I know I got some fat. I'm going to mix this together. We want that buttery flavor, right? So we'll put that in there like that. I'm going to keep this over here on the outside. I lower my heat, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to burn my butter, right? So we'll move this around. I got it. We're going to have a little bits in there too, but this is why when people eat you know, behind, you know, anything that I cook, it turns out great. Now making videos, it could be something else, but I want to let you guys know, I'm just trying to be real with it, folks. You know what I mean? Uh, so you see this right here, we almost melted. Now that we melt it, right? Now I'm gonna come with one cup of long grain rice, right? So what we're gonna do is, we just want to get this toasted a little bit. It's gonna absorb some of that, you know what I mean? But no worries. Now I'm coming back to my medium flame. There we go. We just wanted to protect that butter, right? But as I move this around, you guys will be able to see that it has absorbed everything that was in here. That's that butter 
and that chicken flavor. So if you've been following me for a minute, you know I usually do that with what? Tell me down in the comment section below. Bacon, you know, bacon fat. But we'll do it like this. I'm gonna leave it like that just for a hot second. Let that pan get back up to my medium, you know, flame. Get that heat right. I can see it starting to work, right? You see that right there? That's what you wanna see. Now I'm gonna put a little garlic. Notice how I did it. I put it on the top, right? Then I'll come with both of my powders. Then if you ever had yellow rice before, you know what this is. I ain't gotta hold that back. That's that turmeric. Now, we're gonna move this around here and get it going. Now you know why we use turmeric. Not only for the taste though, but we couldn't call it yellow rice without it. Look at that right there. Oh yeah, that smells right. Trust me folks. Then we got that fine in here too. This is what we want. Now, pay attention over here. What we gonna need is two cups of chicken broth or stock. Right, we put that right there. Oh, that's it. Now, if you come back over here, this is working nice, right? So now I'm getting ready to bring in and introduce my stock, right? I mean my broth. So what I did is what, well, what you want to do is you want to bring this back up to like a boil, right? You can see when I stop right there, that's good enough. But right now we're getting ready to add just a couple of pinches of salt. And then I'm going to add some black pepper. Now you got to do this to taste, you know what I mean? It's okay to taste this right here. We cooking it. You can taste your broth and everything that you have, you know what I mean? And uh, you can go from there. You add what you want to add. But this right here is what we want to do to, you know, tailor it to our palate. All right, so now I'm gonna bring this back into play. That's this chicken, right? So I'm gonna take that there. I'm gonna leave it boiling like that. I'm gonna place one here, here, right? So I guess if we were talking like military terms, you know what I mean? We say 12, three, six, and nine. If you don't have a lid, you can take some foil, put that over there to make sure everything that you're using is oven uh, safe. This right here is oven safe, and these are hex clad pots and pans. Now that I have the lid on, I turned my fire off. We finna put this in the oven, and don't forget, my lid is oven safe, right? So, I'll stick this in like this, and I'm gonna set myself a timer for about 30 minutes, right? Then I wanna check it. And then you're gonna need yourself one of these, folks. And that's one of these meat thermometers, because we wanna make sure our chicken is at at least 165. I'm not gonna say it at least. We want it to be 165 and just to take it out. Took it out. I really only went 25 minutes because you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to check it, right? We have to check it and we got to use one of these meat thermometers right here because we want to make sure we got 165 degrees. Now, if I take this off like this, I take this and then I check it. I went down there and I'm next to that bone right there. Oh uh, yeah. Actually, this one right here is at 180 or 179. It's starting to cool. I did have it out just for a hot second. You guys get, can get these. Listen, I got them in my shop. I'll put the link, you know, there. You can go to my website. That's smokingandgrillingwithab.com. That's W-I-T-A-B.com. Come in two different colors, right? This is a must, you ask me. I don't know how my grandmama did it, but just the way I did. Well, you know what? I do know I started off that way, but now since I'm teaching, I just teach this way. You know what I mean? Then after you guys get good enough and you can figure it out on your own, then you move ahead. So now I'm gonna show you the next thing we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab myself a fork. But don't forget, I got hex clad pan, pots and pans, right? So I don't have to worry about, I can use metal. I'm not getting ready to, you know, mess nothing up or we're not gonna have none of that non-stick, you know, coating or nothing like that because it's really none of that in here. So what I'm doing is now, I'm just fluffing this up, right? Ooh, look at this. This is what we want to do. And the reason I do that is to let a little air in there, right? You can see nothing sticks. That's why I stick it in the oven. You can make this in the pan, but you gotta watch out. Don't forget the heat be under the bottom and that's how we burn everything. Now what I did was, I cut up a little bit of this. This is cilantro. I just put it in like this because I'm gonna mix this together. I can pick it up and I think I will now. I just didn't want to dirty up nothing because I tell you guys, you gotta wash as you go, right? So I've already cleaned up my kitchen. So the best thing I can do is just move this around just to give it a little color, a little bit of a refreshing taste. For those of you guys that like cilantro, if you don't, you can spruce it up, make it look good with a little bit of that parsley. You know what I mean? But this right here, this is cilantro. And we'll just go ahead and, you know, put this in here like this. 
Let me get it like this, and then I'll just cut this off. You know what I mean? We could look at that right there. Let me just get this. I don't want to lose my skin. I know some of y'all go crazy over, but you see that right there? Ooh, my goodness. Nice and tender. You know what I mean? I don't know how y'all eat, but I like to get a little bit of it all on there, all right? And with that being said, cheers. <laughs> I ain't finna say nothing. You guys can see it. If your brain is telling you what it is, it's probably 10 times even better than that. So look, I gotta say this. Let's talk about being budget friendly. You guys probably got long grain rice in your pantry, cupboards, under your sink. You got them somewhere and you got it already, right? And then more than likely, I know us, we probably got chicken already frozen inside of our, uh, inside of our freezer. Now, with that being said, this is probably one of the most inexpensive, over the top dishes you guys can make. Now, let me know what you guys will serve this with as far as the vegetable go vegetable goals, right? So with that being said, listen, if you knew it, you know what to do. You gotta like, subscribe, and tell everybody out here. Check it out. There's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what I'm finna do. If y'all see my reel on IG, you know I just made some Kool-Aid. I'm finna sit down with it, and I'm out. Peace.